and welcome back to a new tutorial. This is just going to be my everyday popping out to the shops, doing kind of casual errand style makeup. Some days I really like to spend hours or kind of half an hour to an hour doing my makeup. Other days I just want to do like 10-15 minutes and that's what this is. So it's just quite quick, quite simple. I just kind of threw everything on. There's no real kind of precision to it at all. So if you're the kind of person who likes to just quickly slap on some makeup but still look really really good, this might be for you. Or otherwise you might just like some of the products that I use and whatnot so hopefully you enjoy this video either way and let's just get to it okay so for most days I'll go in first of all with the Vichy serum really light really refreshing and just makes my skin feel hydrated I'm gonna follow that up with the Vichy same one Aqualia Thermal Thermal I don't know that's the way I say it Thermal sounds more exciting said that way Okay, next up, I haven't used this in a while, but you probably will remember it, the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. It's a favourite of most people, and I just apply it in this kind of triangular shape. I also put a little bit on my chin and down the nose. And then the Tarte, yeah, Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This is in light to medium sand, which matches my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, which I'm yet to use. So this is quite thick, so I find that you need to sort of apply it onto your fingertips first, a bit like this. Then I'll sort of rub them together and kind of heat it up a little bit. And then I'll just pat that in the direct under eye area. My usual way, a beauty blender from Real Techniques and my vitamin E face mist from the body shop. It's just to dampen it. You can use water just as easily. I'm just lazy. Can't bother getting up. So I'm just using this to pat that into the skin. Okay, I'm just going to go back with my trusty Real Techniques buffing brush. I went off this for a while and started using different brushes, but it's always remained one of my favourites. It's going in with a Tarte Amazonian 12 hour clay in light medium sand. On to, just onto the brush. I'm going to dab that onto each cheek and onto the forehead and also down the nose. So the whole point of this is to kind of miss this area that you've just done. So you're not applying two products and you're keeping it quite thin. When I've got a bit of a tan, Tarte Amazonian Clay is my go-to generally. I really like it. Okay, so when that's done, I'm just going to quickly set it with the Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm just going to use this yellow, just to do my under eyes. It's really not that yellow either, like it looks like it would be super yellow, but it's not at all on the skin. It's totally fine really, I find. I'm just going to use my MAC um, Large Contour Brush. I might need to get a new one of these, it's looking a bit worse for wear. I'm just going to use this central colour. This is quite a nice contour shade. I'm just going to use the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. helps everything to blend together as well. On my cheeks I often use a variety of different blushes depending on if I'm feeling more pink or I'm feeling more of a bronze or a peach. I think today I'm going to go with the MAC Lured to Love blush. Really pretty peach, can you see that? I'm going to go in the Shiseido Trio Enhancing Blush that I like to use as a highlight because it's so pretty. Going on to eyes, I'm going to go in with the Tartlet palette from Tarte. Just 12 really pretty shades, neutrals and darks. And you can kind of also see like colours, like tones working across here as well. So here, here and here. I'm going to go quite basic I think. I'm going to use Free Spirit and Super, Super Mom on the lid. I'm going to go in with Force of Nature in the crease and then Natural Beauty just kind of to see it out of the corner. Super Mom and Free Spirit. 
on the lid. As you can see, I'm not being overly precise with this because again, this is just kind of my this is my everyday kind of makeup routine where I just kind of throw it on. I'm not too precious about making sure it's perfection for most days. So I just like a, a light base. Then I'm just going to use the Force of Nature colour, which is like a peachy brown, which is perfect for a crease shade. I'm going to rub that a little bit underneath my lower lash line too. I could just find it works quite well. And the other side. What I'll often do is go in with the, C the Sigma E40, take a little bit of maybe Super Mom and just run that over the brow bone whilst also bring it down onto that shade and just blending them together. Just blends it out a bit more. I'm just going to add a little bit of the natural beauty, as I said. Just into the very kind of outer corner and the crease. Just for a little bit of colour. And then what you can just do is again take some of that super on the lighter shade sort of work that into the inner section to start blending all of that out. So we then really nice transition then through all the shades outwards. I'm just going to use my favourite at the moment which is the El Masca Precision Brow Gel and I've got this in the shade Awe, A-W-E. Using my Bobbi Brown Eye Definer brush as always as always and I'm just gonna very lightly fill some sections in and that's done just use the benefit gimme brow just go over that Do that on the other eye. That's the Ico Liquid Metal Liner in black. Need to pump that up a bit. That will do. Usually I'd have them much thinner at the ends, so they're a bit more pointy, but for a day out I honestly would just leave them because they're fine. Okay, just before I put my mascara on, just to get my oh, just to get my lips all sorted, I'm just gonna use the by Terry Bond Rose. I'm almost ran out of this. And it's an absolute will purchase again. Absolutely. And then just as always, you know. Shoe, your mirror, eyelash curlers, and my Clarins, truly waterproof. Bottom lash is done. And now, because I went in with my eyelash curlers, the top lids have lost a bit of their eyeliner, so I'm just going to go over that. And then finally, so what I'm really loving doing, and in fact, I put a picture on Instagram, um, I'll put it here. I put this picture on Instagram when I was in Japan. And I mentioned it's my new favourite lip look and everyone starts saying, oh, what is it, what is it? But I'll do it here for you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So anyway, starting off, this is Max Saw Lip Liner. I'm just going to line and fill in my entire lips with this shade. I'm also just overdrawing my lips too, so look a little bit bigger. I'm just going to use the Honey Love lipstick from MAC and run that kind of through the middle. 
It's almost as colour in your lips as you would do with a normal lipstick, but because Sore is on there, that almost equals to a lip line that's slightly darker. And that's a whole kind of everyday, quick, finish makeup look. So I'm sure you'll agree, super easy to do, but it's quite a cute kind of nude. It's all about the cat eye flick, as I always do, and just a nice nude lip. It's kind of something you can wear every single day. So hopefully you enjoyed it, I hope you did. If you did, then give me a like, a big thumbs up, and also leave me some more comments about what kind of tutorials you'd like to see next. But as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new, then please do give me a subscribe. That's always incredible. And in that case, I'll see you on my next one. Bye! Mwah.